Ooh, hoo, hoo. after that weak apology, fake Justin Bieber could have done just about anything else. You know what would have been better? If you just straight up read the lyrics from actual Justin Bieber and the song, Sorry, just picture it. I know you know that I made those mistakes maybe once or twice. By once or twice, I mean maybe a couple of hundred times. So let me, oh let me redeem, oh redeem, oh myself tonight because I just need one more shot at second chances. Yeah, is it too late now to say sorry? Because I'm missing more than just your body. Oh, is it too late now to say sorry? Yeah, I know that I let you down. Is it too late to say I'm sorry now? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And one of my philosophy is, what good is watching all this stuff on YouTube if we're not taking into account how it might be able to better benefit our own lives? So that's what I try to do here on my channel. And if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, um, fake Justin Bieber, AKA Brad Sosa or vice versa that, uh, he just released his video, I'm sorry, and he discussed um, cheating on Tana Mojo. Um, what had happened in her video is true. There was a little bit of over-exaggeration to some of it, but I mean, what she was going through and what I have done, I mean, I don't blame her for speaking, you know, just her mind and her truth and her heart, to be honest with you, so. Um, Coachella weekend was very bad, both weekends. People have it twisted saying that I cheated on her during the weekends, that's not true. That did not happen. I never physically touched another girl during our relationship ever. And I did Snapchat a few girls from back home and they did send me nudes. And Tana actually released this tweet and it doesn't sound like she really accepts that apology, which uh, I've talked about this multiple times in previous videos. It's like a lot of people want to get in the public spotlight, but just like imagine your relationship just being psh, front and center like this for everybody to see, all right? So anyways, there's a few things I want to talk about when it comes to this topic and what we can think about, you know, when it comes to our own lives, okay? So first one is, first one is apologies, all right? Like, a lot of people are already critiquing it. I, I, this is going to be rough in the context of this video, but not many public apologies are going to get a 100% approval rate. But I think with Brad's video, it's got like a 2% approval rating, okay? And here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Within like the first... I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute of the video, he talks about how some parts of Tana's story were exaggerated and just, it is not the time or place to do that. Like, when you end up in one of these situations, when you screw up, when you screw up big time, to even place an ounce of blame on somebody else is really, really not going to look good. And this is for all of you, all of you watching this video. Like, we have to apologize. Like, I come from a 12-step background, and one of the steps talks about how when we are wrong, we promptly admit it, all right? And in, in apologizing, we only talk about our part. We only talk about what we did, okay? Not the other person, not in this situation, not like, oh, okay, but you said this, and you, you mis, uh, explained this in a bad way, you know, publicly, and things like that. The reality is, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, um, whether or not Tana exaggerated anything isn't going to make this blow less for Brad. So he might as well just full force should have gone into it and accepted the fact that he screwed up. By the way, this is why apology videos should really, really, really be much shorter. He talked way too much. Second thing I wanna talk about, emotional cheating versus physical cheating, okay? This is something like, man, like it, it's, it's, it's interesting and I want to do some videos. I was talking to um, Tristan about this earlier. I want to take a look and see if there's any kind of psychological studies about this and like why that pain is is just, just as much or even more when it comes to emotional cheating, okay? Um, so basically what Brad was saying is that he never physically cheated on Tana, but he did do emotional cheating, okay? And he talks about how it was dumb, it was stupid. But think about this for a second. Like I see this happen so, so, so often. And the way our brain can justify this is madness. I've seen myself do this in my younger and stupid days. I've seen other people do this constantly. And just this idea that it's less, and it's it's not. Like, 
this is just a theory of mine, not being a psychologist, not having any studies to talk about at this moment in time, but I will be making some videos on it, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But my theory behind this is like, a physical, a physical thing is just like, a lot of people, you know, for the most part, can kind of like discount that, right? Like it was just a physical thing, right? But that emotional connection, like that's what brings people together. Like that's, that's what separates like a hookup from like a real long lasting relationship. So to have someone you're with trying to build like an emotional connection with other people, like I feel like the sting is a lot worse. And I talked about this in the original video. People cheat or people emotionally cheat based on insecurities. This is based on insecurities. And if you are an insecure person, you need to work on yourself. Like, it is selfish of each and every one of us to get into a relationship when we still have a drastic amount of insecurities. Like, this is on a spectrum, okay? Like, all of us have insecurities, every single one of us. Me, you, Tana, Shane Dawson, uh, Jeffree Star, uh, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> hey, even President Trump pretty uh, in insecure. But what I'm trying to get at is, no matter how high you get up on the social hier hierarchy of life, you're still gonna have insecurities. But when it comes to dating, we have to check in with ourselves and say, how insecure am I? Am I going to constantly get jealous? Am I going to constantly feel this need to have more attention, more love? Is there any amount of love the other person can give me that will consistently fill my need? Because what happens is when you're not in a place of even somewhat security, you do what somebody like Brad did, which is reach out to other people and try to build that emotional connection. I cannot tell you how many people I've seen do this. And let me know down in the comments below if you're open to it, if you've ever done this. But even being in a relationship and when the other person makes you upset or maybe the other person doesn't return your calls or text fast enough, you just get this into your mind and you're just like, you know what? I'm going to call or text somebody else. I'm gonna text somebody else to get the attention that I need because that dives into the emotional cheating category. So I really want you to think about that in your own insecurities. My suggestion, my suggestion is to start working on self-love and self-compassion. You could do this in a variety of different ways. Meditation is a great one. There are loving kindness meditations. I love those. Therapy is also a very good option. If you are not in therapy yet, Talk to your doctor, see if they can recommend anybody. Call your insurance company, see if they can recommend anybody. Talk to friends, talk to family members who are in therapy, see if they can recommend anybody. I personally use BetterHelp Online Therapy and I have an affiliate link to them down below. So if you'd like to try them out, a little bit of it comes back and helps support the channel and you can use it on the go, all right? But it is something that we have to work through or no, no relationship we ever get in will truly, truly be as strong as it can be as long as we're insecure and trying to seek attention in other places. Last thing that I'll talk about is that Brad makes the excuse that he was drunk when this happens. And you know what? As a man who is almost seven years sober, this is why you should date sober people. And listen, 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 okay. Like some of you are gonna be like, oh no, like it's okay to drink and you know, smoke a little pot. It is, it is, it is. But just bear with me for a second. Like just be open to the idea of dating a sober person. Like when he said that and Tristan and I were watching it, I'm like, this is why you date sober people. Like. For, for almost seven years now, for almost seven years now, I have not been able to have the excuse in any way, shape, or form that I was drunk or high when I did something stupid. Like, if I do anything stupid, it is 1,000% this guy, right? Like, how many people have you dated where they messed up and maybe, maybe it wasn't like this kind of like emotional cheating or getting these like nudes or whatever it is, but maybe it was like they blew up out of anger or they like punched a hole in the wall or they acted a fool in public and embarrassed you and stuff like that because they were under the influence. Hey, you date a sober man or you date a sober woman, you don't gotta worry about that. So I just wanted to, I just wanna plant that seed with you. But the other thing is too, the other thing is, like if you partake, if you like to drink a little, smoke a little something or whatever, nothing illegal, nothing illegal, check this out. You always have a designated driver. So just think, think about that for a little minute or two. So all of my sober brothers and sisters out there, don't worry. I'm the wingman for you. I'm trying to hook you up, all right? <laughs> but anyways, anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down below. Do you struggle with insecurities? Have you ever been a person 
who has reached out and tried to get attention from somebody else when your partner was not showing you the attention that you wanted or needed at that point in time? And what are you doing to work on it? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And make sure you go check out the Patreon site or app, whatever you use, if you are a patron, because I am uploading the April Q&A within the next 24 hours, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.